Is the Yeezy 350 V2 the hottest shoe of summer 2019? Let us know your answer in the comments and let's go right into it. What's going on guys? You're watching Sneaker News on YouTube and today we're taking a closer look at three recent colorways of the Yeezy Boost 350 V2. Uh, before we do that, just do us a quick favor, hit that subscribe button and we'll get right into it. So as you guys know, in 2019, the 350 V2 model has had somewhat of a comeback. It's been enjoying a lot of good resale value. Prices are eclipsing $1,000 and that hasn't happened a lot with Yeezy in recent memory. Though the truth is, it's making Yeezy's hype again. Before we get into the reasons why that is, uh, we'll just cover some basic release details. This one right here in the middle is the most recent one. It is the Lundmark colorway. It drops on July 13th for $220. Of course, there's a reflective version that's priced at 250 And the other two, this is the Synth, and this is the Antlia dropped back in June 23rd with the reflectives just a few days before. And of course, just like the first triplets, these are all uh, regional exclusive. The Lumark's North America exclusive. Synth is exclusive to Asia, Africa, and Middle East. And the Antlia was Europe exclusive. Adidas is taking specific measures to drop certain colorways in certain regions. That definitely helps in terms of desirability, people wanting to collect all three colorways, things of that nature. You know, we asked you guys again, are 350 V2s a shoe of 2019? And right now, it's kind of in that lead. There isn't too much out there that dropped in 2019 that had sneaker heads going crazy. I mean, there's maybe like the Travis Scott one, but that's just one shoe. The 350 V2 is pretty much neck and neck with the Air Jordan 1 right now. And right now, we have to say we give the slight edge to the 350 V2. And that's because of one tiny detail. It's just this reflective thing Thing that's just been kind of going nuts. People have gone crazy about them. They, of course, sell out immediately. You have to enter raffles and whatnot to get them. And resale prices for all three of these have eclipsed $1,000. So we do have one reflective pair of the three. This is the Antlia one. So we'll start with this pair. Again, this is the Antlia pair. It dropped back in June 21st. This is the reflective version. The only thing that's really different between these and the standard version is just there are some reflective threads that are knit into the prime knit upper. So when you hit it with flash, boom, it pops. The high visibility look has been really popular with the Yeezy for some reason. Of course, it's not the first one that was a reflective. There was the black reflective version that are going for crazy money. But the fact that Adidas is understanding that, okay, if we drop like an exclusive limited version first, followed by the traditional version, it just generates hype, you know? And it's worked so far for Kanye West and Adidas. It's helped the 350 V2 become perhaps the most popular and coveted shoe of the year. And it's paced in such a way that every single pair of them sells out and there's more coming in 2019. The Antlia is, I guess you could say, like a pale yellow tone. The upper blends that yellow with that dark gray. And again, this particular version it has a reflective, so it does pop. The midsole is this matching kind of yellow opaque tone. And the outsole is this light peach tinted gum almost. And this is actually the same color in the other two releases as well. It's pretty interesting to see that. One thing to note that this one does not have that heel pull tab. Do you guys like the 350 V2 with or without the pull tab? Answer in the comments. But you know, we think it looks really clean without them to be honest. But yeah, you know, this is a clean colorway. This one dropped exclusively in Europe. And right now the resale prices are in the twelve to fifteen hundred dollar range, which is crazy for Adidas Yeezys. You know, we haven't seen that in quite a while. Of course, the the demand of Yeezys have kind of fallen a little bit and they're restocking a bunch of old colorways. That does something a little bit to the value, but there's no question that the reflective 350 right now is the most coveted shoe. So now let's take a look at the other two that aren't reflective. Moving on, this is the Synth colorway. This one was exclusive to Asia, select regions in Africa and the Middle East. And much like the other two, it has distinct color, which almost is like a light peach pink intertwined with this gray. Now this particular version does not have any reflective, although the laces does have the reflective. Particularly with this set of uh, summer releases, you can definitely see the, the knit pattern is much different from you know, the earlier 350 generations. This one does not have any heel tab as well. The midsole is that matching pink. It's almost like the clay, but the clay is definitely a little bit more on the orangey end, whereas this is more on the pinkish end. You know, that's our best way to kind of describe it in a simple way. The outsole is that 
same tone that is matching with the midsole of the synth. So like we said, this outsole colorway is consistent with the other two. And um, you know, that's pretty much it. It's a very straightforward colorway. People seem to really like the synth. So now we're moving on to the Lundmark colorway. Um, people originally thought that these would release alongside the other two because they were the three original exclusives, but the US version is coming much later. July 11th for the reflective, July 13th for the non-reflective. The colorway is pretty interesting. Lundmark, again, is a word that Kanye just kind of throwing on these colorways, but our best description of it is kind of like a blend between like a cream white and an off-white. Again, it pairs really well with that gray knit upper. The reflective on this is only on the laces, and again, that's with all of the pairs, reflective or not reflective. The midsole is that matching Lundmark hue, and here you can definitely see the contrast the most between the different colored gum outsole with the midsole. And like we said before, this is actually from the synth colorway, so that's pretty interesting. Of course, you have your boost. So that's pretty much it. You know, there's not really too much we can say in terms of the design of the 350. It's basically, are the colorways good? Is it accessible? Are they making limited editions? And the answer is yes to all those questions because 350s are the hottest shoe right now. They're not limited by any means. They're still producing pairs in the upwards to the hundreds of thousands, and they're all selling out, and they're all flipping for above retail, and there isn't a single Air Jordan shoe that you can really make that's performing in that same way. Right now it is a Yeezy 350 versus an Air Jordan 1 conversation. Jordan 1s are kind of getting weaker and weaker and they're sitting on shelves and that's kind of sad to say, but it's true. Kanye West, again, his mission is to get everyone in a pair of Yeezys, that is if they want them. And who knows, there might be more mass produced Yeezy 350s. Remember the triple white that dropped in September 2018 were producing super high numbers. And that was that first real case study to see if they can really mass sell Yeezys to the mass market. Let us know in the comments if you think 350 V2 is the hottest shoe of summer 2019 or perhaps the best shoe model of the year. Let us know which of the three colorways you like the most. Our favorite has to be the synth colorway, but the other two aren't too shabby. So again, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and we'll catch you in the next video.